Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist best known for her paintings of flowers and desert landscapes. She was born November 15, 1887 in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Georgia knew from the age of 12 that she wanted to be an artist. She attended art school, however, she was unable to afford to finish. After leaving art school, she worked as a commercial illustrator. She then later taught art in Virginia, Texas, and South Carolina. During the summer months, she was introduced to the principles and philosophies of Arthur Wesley Dow, who created works based upon personal style, design, and interpretation, rather than trying to copy from real life. This led to a change in her art, saying his idea was to put it simply, fill a space in a beautiful way. She began to experiment with shapes, colors, and marks, leading to her own personal style of combining abstract and realistic. She moved to New York at the request of Alfred Stigeltz, an art dealer and photographer who promoted and exhibited her works. This working relationship led to their marriage in 1924. Georgia also began spending part of the year in the Southwest, which began to inspire her paintings of landscapes and images of animal skulls. With her husband's death, she permanently moved to New Mexico. Georgia wanted to stay as close as possible to the remote places she traveled around the desert painting and drawing. She traveled around in a custom Model A Ford as her studio. She continued to paint into the 1970s until the almost complete loss of her eyesight and poor health. She died March 6, 1986 at the age of 98. Today we are going to draw a flower with soft pastels as we follow George's example and fill the space in a beautiful way. So you're going to have your piece of paper that will have your name and information filled out in the top. And we are going to start by drawing our flower. Now we have some um, examples that you can look at this um, card here that you can look and there's some flowers on either side so you can get an idea of what flower you might want to draw and you can look at those and look at the different shapes in there as you draw your flower. Now Georgia O'Keeffe was known for drawing her flowers big and kind of going off the edge of the page filling her space so today we're gonna to kind of do that and I'm just going to draw a simple flower. I'm just gonna draw a little bit of a, a shape here in the, for the center of my flower. And then I'm going to make sure that it goes all the way off the edge of the paper and I'm going to draw my petals going all the way off the edge of the paper. And I'm gonna keep my lines nice and kind of natural and curvy looking. And I'm just going to keep drawing my petals here. And make sure that they're going off the edge of the page. And I'm gonna treat that line at the top like it is the end of the page. Now, we're gonna just keep drawing and we'll have our bits. We can add some details to like the center of our flower if we want it to have some, some dots here in the center. And just draw your details in that you want in your flower. Just drawing little details, not a lot, just little details. Maybe some lines going out. Now, the next thing we're gonna do as an artist is we're gonna sign our work. And we wanna make sure that we don't put our signature where it might get um, cropped off when, when it's printed. So we have this template here and you just line it up with the bottom of your paper. And you need to make sure that you write your name fits within the box. Now, over here, I've got most of my flower over here. So I'm gonna, maybe do it on the other side. So I'm just going to flip it over and I've got a space right here at the bottom of my flower that I think I will put my name right there. Just make sure that your name fits in this box. So I'm going to write my name 
and I could write my first name, my last name, and I'm going to write the year as well. So there I have written my name and the year. So now we can just put this off to the side and it will get collected. Now we're going to add some color. Now for when we're coloring with our pastels, we want to use to make sure that that the petals stand out from the background. So I want you to use either your warm colors for your flower and then cool colors for your background or cool colors for your flower and warm colors for your background. But I want you to use those combination of warm colors and cool colors to give your flower some, make it stand out from the background. So I am going to use some warm colors for my flower. And I am going to start and I'm just going to use my pastel and I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow and I can go right over that chalk and I am going to just color that in a little bit of yellow. And then I'm going to make it so that I have a little bit of a red coming out from the center. So I'm just going to put some red in here. And I am just going to put my red going out just the way a flower grows. I'm going to be putting it kind of out from the center where it's radiating out from the center. And I'm not pushing very hard. I'm just putting some color down. And then now I'm going to pull out with my second color and I'm going to just add a little bit more color here. And now that I've got this one petal pulled in, I am going to start to blend my colors. And to blend and set our colors, we are going to use liquid starch. And it is a little funny feeling. It feels a little slimy. We're just going to dip our finger in and just get a little bit on our finger, not very much. And we are just going to take it and we will rub out pull out with the starch and you will see that it starts to blend our colors together and pull out. And you just keep going until you'll feel it, it, it moves pretty easily. And then as it starts to dry, when you need some more starch, it starts to pull on the paper. You'll notice your finger doesn't slide very well anymore. And that's when you go ahead and dip your finger back in and get a little bit more starch. And you can see I'm kind of following that direction of my petal and blending that color out. Now I'm going to use my wipe and I'm just going to wipe my finger off. And the, the video here has been sped up to show you. However, it is best for you to work slowly and carefully so you may create your best work. Once you have blended the color of your first petal, use the pastels to add color to the next petal. As you add color, do not push very hard, just add a layer of color. When you have added color to your next petal, dip your finger into the starch and blend your color. Using only one finger will give you better control of your blending. Continue adding color and blending one petal or section at a time. Do not use your pastels in areas that have already been blended. The pastel sticks should not get wet. The pastel may go over the Sharpie and the marks will still show through. When adding color, you may notice pastel dust on your paper. Do not blow that dust. We do not want it in the air. It will be blended into your artwork with the starch. Remember, if your finger stops moving across the artwork easily, it is time for more starch. Try to only add more starch when needed as to not make your paper too wet. When your flower is completely filled with color and blended, it is time to move on to the background. If you have used warm colors of reds, yellow, and orange in your flower, now it is time to use cool colors of blue, green, and purple in your background. You may also add small details with your pastels like veins and leaves before blending. Again, working one section at a time, add color, blend using one finger dipped into the starch until your background is filled. 
After you are done filling the space in a beautiful way, clean off your hands with your wipe, put your artwork on the drying rack, and clean up your workspace.